Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ballroom Mastery. Today I'm joined by Brittany. Welcome. She's ready to go. Are you ready to go? Because we are going to carry on from part one of the Raw Beginner episodes to hit part two today of the basic waltz. Now this is the correct and proper use of the basic waltz if you're first hitting the dance floor. This is something I will teach you in our beginner and starter classes or if you just have lessons. And what you have to focus on is something new compared to part one and that is quarter turns. So you need to pay attention now to who is coming around. And this is definitely the next stage in your dancing because as you saw in part one, we only went forward and back really. That's not dancing. Pure waltz, proper waltz is all about spins and rotation. It's all about that elegance and grace floating around the room. So to do that, we have to know how to turn. And we have to turn before we rotate and pivot. So pay attention to the amounts of turn we make and come to the end of the video in the concluding thoughts, I'll give you some more tips on what you can focus on so you can go back through the video. So let's get into the demonstrations straight away. Figure names for the waltz basic with quarter turns. So we take hold, change step, natural turn, followed by another change step to link the two, reverse turn to start again. Timing for the basic waltz with the quarter turns. So one, two, three. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, so how did you go? Did you follow at home okay? I know that we have been thinking very much about how we're gonna help you. And right now, here is a very important tip. See, when you first come in to learn how to move, what we do is we dance on a cross. So if our feet are together, right, we can only move forward, backwards, and sideways, all right? It's always in relation to what we call the standing leg. Now, if we then go to turn, one of the important things to think about is who is coming around. So let's look at it like this. So if I'm going backwards with my left foot and Brittany's coming forward with her right foot, what has to occur is, well, someone's on the inside of the turn. So because I will be on the inside of the turn here, Brittany has to make all the effort to come around me and I have to make sure I let her come around me. So what you can say is like, I go, you go when it comes to turn. So I'll give you an example. If we're holding and we take a change step, so we've got our change step, that literally changes feet. The reason we do that is so I can have as the man the right foot for the right turn or the natural turn, and then the next change step is a change step to get on the left foot, so left foot for a reverse turn. Now the point is, when the turns come, we cannot take the same size step. So if I go forward, Brittany's going backwards, so she's on the inside of the turn. Therefore, if she takes giant giraffe-like spider woman steps, I'm screwed, right? Like, so do that, go back, take a big step, boom. She clearly doesn't like me today, right? Go even bigger, right? Boom. Like, just because you watch YouTube doesn't mean you should take big steps because you see that, right? So now she's gonna pass me when she closes. This is bad. So part of learning to turn in these quarter turns is thinking who's coming around. So in this case, Brittany, I'm coming around you, so I go, you let me come around you. Now it's your turn, so you go, okay? And with that, we're allowed to now comfortably move around. You feel the difference? Mm. And one of the key, I suppose, things you can feel when you do this is you will both be able to, you ready for it, close your feet. <gasps> 
That's the key right there. So in all my technique videos, you've seen me say this, close your feet, bring them together as best you can. This is one of the most challenging things to do, right? As a ballroom la uh, lady or man. But when you turn effectively, you'll feel the bodies move together and be able to land together. And one last thing to think about, when your feet do close, the position of the feet matters. So Brittany's got two feet, I've got two. So we have what we call four tracks of movement. So track one is on the outside of her leg. Track two, if you can just try to kick between my feet, don't kick too hard though, I like my legs. And then between your feet and then kick on the outside, right? So four tracks of movement. So we're never shoulder to shoulder. So anytime you complete a turn, you're aiming to be back in these four tracks, okay? And so there's sometimes where that may not happen. That's okay, it's part of the learning process, but ideally we're there for balance and movement. So when I lower and step, she can feel where I'm going, okay? And vice versa, if our feet are closed and you come forward, if we create a turn, right, she needs to be able to feel where we're going next so we can close together. And ideally, that's what you're focusing on at this level. So get the pattern, Get it in you so you don't have to think about it because what you should be focusing on is the quarter turns. Now make sure you stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna show you the real waltz, the real amounts of turn that we use, which is gonna up your game, but give you the really important fundamentals in how to turn at the next level of your dancing. So please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.